Hello, and welcome to Facebook PR for Archives at One University. I'm Russ Dennison from Winona State University. This poster session is a capsule review of why and how archives at WSU started a series of short videos on their university's Facebook page. This is the opening shot of one of the videos. That particular one was on technology used over the years at WSU, and that is me in the photo. The WSU archive started as only a records retention facility. When left on staff by the university, the librarians took over, slowly shifting it from records retention to a genuine archive over 20 years. Now we're using Island Door to build a digital archive as well as a physical one. The WSU library is trying to increase its outreach and activity. As part of that, the archives has been actively working with others. An example is the Winona Newspaper Database. We digitized the Winona newspapers from 1855 to 1976, which has now been publicly available for over 10 years. Another example is contact with the editors of the student newspaper. That has taken place each year for the last eight years, ever since we started digitizing their newspaper. Last year, the current student editor, Alsa Mueller, responded very positively. She also works for the University Marketing Communications Department. They also wanted to increase their outreach through social media, so Archives was a good matchup for them. I was asked to write up a 45 to 60 second script on a current Archives display to be used on the University's Facebook page for the Throwback Thursdays theme. Allison recorded it on her smartphone, edited it at Marketing and Communications Office, and they posted it on the University's Facebook page. With 400 hits in the first week, they wanted more. The first two refs recalls were rough with me reading from a script clipboard while standing by a display. So they had a series title, a little music, an episode title page, and I learned how to hide the clipboard. Eventually, a closing shot was added. This is the original series header that was the introductory slide. However, they got the color of my eyes wrong. They noticed it and quickly corrected it. Following the series header is an episode header that gives what this particular video is on. Then there's a closing slide. The students in marketing had fun with this one. I'm known on campus as the librarian with the mustache, even though I'm not the only one with the mustache. The process of creating a video starts with me. I research a topic looking for props and pictures. Then I write a short script and practice reading it. I also consider shooting on location, standing by relevant buildings, roads, statues, or artwork. Then I set a recording time with Allison. We usually record in one to two takes. I give a copy of the script to Allison for her to make closed captioning. This is how we record most of the videos now. I use a clipboard to hold my script. The clipboard is held upright by a stack of yearbooks behind and another yearbook in front. Allison then records the talk with her smartphone. She usually holds it in front of the clipboard. The closer she holds it to the script, the less I look like I'm reading. Allison later uses Adobe Premiere Pro for editing. She scans in any photos used in the video to Google Drive and uses Photoshop to edit those. Sometimes she gets fancy in her editing and does things like split screens. In this case, I'm holding the same scepter as the Homecoming Queen from 55 years earlier. Depending on your standards for success, Russ Recalls has been quite successful. Martin was very excited when some of the videos got two to 3,000 views. This one on WSU mascots over the years got 2,300 views. In fact, Martin liked the results so much they used archives in four spin-offs. First, archives was used in behind the scenes Snapchat. Then, Martin started using historical photos on Throwback Thursdays when they don't run or Russ recalls. A variation of the historical photo was use of photos showing missing items from campus. This photo shows a building that's been torn down. Note that the photo is being held over the open space where the building used to be. This has been real successful among the students. The fourth spin-off for archives was their fun facts about well-known campus people. Someone is presented on the Facebook page along with two false statements and one true statement about them. People guess what's true, and the first correct guess wins the prize. I was the fourth person in the series before any of the teaching faculty, deans, or even coaches were used. Finally, here are some links to Russ Recalls. Each video runs about one minute. Thank you. Here's my contact information if you have any questions or comments.